Hi, welcome to the new Janky Workshop. Hello. Hi, this is Jeff. I'm Ryan. And we're from the new Janky Workshop. Welcome to the new Janky Workshop. In fact, we're in the new Janky Workshop. We are here, right like, now. Like, right here. In the spot, right now. Like, right now. Um, shall we show you around? Yes. Let's, Let's do that. All right, we are very fortunate. This is the center of our shop. This is our saw stop. Um, we have a 52 inch saw stop, professional, three horsepower cabinet saw here. This thing is the bomb diggity. Um, and what I loved about this when we first got it is that right out of the box, it was dead nuts square, everything right out of the box. And it survived a move from Lawrence to here, which is what, 40 miles in the back of a truck with lift gates and just a disaster of a move. But anyway, great, fantastic table saw. This thing is, this will last us forever. Uh, unfortunately, the thing it's connected to will not last us forever, nor will its replacement. And this is, it's kind of an, kind of a, Kind of a sad state of affairs here. This is Bob. Kind of a sad state of affairs because there's something strange about the electrical here at our shop. So we have this really, really, really nice dust collection system. Yeah, the cables are irrelevant. Every time we plug this badger in, it, it doesn't quite trip the circuit. It doesn't quite trip the breaker. It'll go and then it'll cut out. And we have to actually go back in the room and reset the breaker. It's not tripped. Uh, who knows? But one day, in theory, this will be set up and we will actually have full centralized dust collection with, like, all of the bells and whistles. This thing is, I mean, this is a, it's three horsepower, one mic. I mean, this is a really sweet piece of machinery that has been sitting here for a year doing nothing. All it is doing right now is concealing our deep storage. We will see the deep storage later, if you're lucky. This is our paint booth, which we set up here, and we have a video called The Gong Show because it's important that we put in a gong into there with a crappy symbol that Ryan found on the side of the road. We also have a nice little turntable in there for painting, and we have an exhaust system, which we can get to back here. The exhaust, oh, you can see it, can't you? There we go. We have an exhaust system back here that we use this little fancy stick for to turn on and off because we can't reach it. Um, we have this to pass back to Ryan. Um, so we can actually vent everything we use in here, finishes, spray paints and all that outside. Um, and next to our flammable cabinet, which has all of our flammable stuff in there, like spray paint, used for the spray paint booth. And our live stream, which is going on right now. You can see that. Hi, Internet. We're recording a shop tour. No views! Oh, wait, no, we have views! We have one viewer right yes. now. Yes! Look at that. It's so exciting behind the scenes. I know. Crazy. All right. Making our way along here. Um, bandsaw and our digital video recording. Digital value robots. Yeah, the, the, the distressed value robots. Drill press. So this, this when we bought this drill press, this craziest thing was that it actually came with a USB cable. And I'm like, trying to figure out what one would do with a USB cable on one's drill press, but I have no idea. I still haven't connected it. But it is a really good drill press. Infinitely variable from like, you know, 40 RPMs. 50, excuse me. From 50 all the way up to a lot more than 50. This is like a very, yeah. That's illegal in some states. Ready? You wanna see what 3,000 Rs to the PM looks like? Should I back up? So yeah, pretty badass drill press. Um, really nice bandsaw. I really like this thing. This is the uh, Laguna 14 inch, 14 BX bandsaw. The brake on it. Ours came with a messed up fence. Unfortunately it was bent when it got here, but 
Um, still a really, really, really good bandsaw. Like, phenomenally good bandsaw. Very happy with this. Um, custom little drill, not drill, well, yeah, drill driver, drills and drivers cart that was built in the former shop to house the kinds of tools that we needed in the former shop. Here is one upgrade. One upgrade that we've made, a significant upgrade to the shop is our bespoke drill press shelf. Video Ins will be linked below. Insert um, uh, appreciative graphic noise here. A flourish, you might say. A flourish, yes. So that's a nice upgrade. Um, Keeping going with the tools theme and continuing in the main room, right? Let's pass it over to Jeff. What am I doing? Can, you can cut. And over here, as you may have guessed, is our clamp storage, where we keep our clamps. We still don't have enough. We need more clamps. And below that, we have... You like this little handle? Ryan did that little handle. Isn't that cute? Isn't that cute? It's like a little latch. If you need to know what a latch is, if you look at the deck video, I have the description of what a latch is on there. That is our air compressor, which we have... A little one. ...running throughout the shop. A little six-gallon, right? Yeah. Up and over. We have a center drop. Is there a <laughs> Here. <laughs> where our center drop is, so we can hook up all our tools here and use them. Um, and next to that, we have... <laughs> That's why it's in a cabinet. I need to put some soundproofing in there. I have soundproofing things. Anyways, um, we have our uh, somewhat discombobulated, but somewhat halfway maintained. between organized and disorganized. <laughs> yeah, uh, sandpaper storage. Our like one and only vice. Oh, our one and only like, like. Non woodworking vice. We have other vices. We have a. Oh. <laughs> Don't we? Lathe. And we actually use this area a lot for kind of projects in flight. This is where we end up storing a bunch of crap that's kind of ongoing. Um, when we got the tools for this shop, we got the best that we could get for the money that we had available to us. And so we went with. A much, much bigger lathe than we would have otherwise needed, but it has come in handy already numerous times. Uh, all my old lathe tools here, a little, you know, storage for hangy things, rulers and measurements and stuff. This is the, the adhesives land, right? And random pictures of my kids. Um, but adhesives and then the... This is what, this is the, the what, do we, what do you call it when you have a background? The tool wall? No, you have a, it's like your background in your, your... The background? Oh, yeah! This is our background. <laughs> uh, do we, should we do a... a yeah, a, you should go, you should go and We're going to, we're going to actually do a little close up of the background because there's some really, like, good little details in here. So, you know, we have exit 32, there's stickers everywhere in the new janky workshop our shakespearean insult bandages you know a thermal detonator sprite can random random things oh no it's jimmy ah! link to video below yes there's all sorts of interesting things in the uh the background wall um we have fun with labeling uh this is a tool cabinet that was literally, I think this is the first item that I built for my first shop that was not in my basement. So the first time I actually rented commercial shop space, I needed a central place to store the hand tools that I used at that particular point in time. And this was what I built at that point. I wanted something that had sliding doors. I wanted something that would store all my planes in a nice place. I wanted something that I could put stickers on because I like to collect stickers. And if I could do it again now, I would not put a drawer behind a sliding door because that's just an exercise for, you know, annoyance. Um, but yeah, this thing, this is, is an old piece that'll be around for a long time.
And then below that, we just have storage, wax paper foil. I won't open this cabinet because everything will fall out. As you see, the door is kind of propped open. That is all hoses and clamps and elbow, not clamps, but yeah, pipe clamps. And oh, oh. yep, things are falling out already. Just do it. Just do it, baby. Do it. That is why we keep that door closed. That's going to take a half hour to put away. We need one of those little latchy things on this. Yep. Um, and then just another workbench um, and more storage for stuff. Um, and I'll just back up to this little beauty we got. This is, this is again, this is the first thing I ever built. Like, legitimately the first thing I ever built. Um, I decided I wanted to be a woodworker, and I needed a workbench, and this came as a bowling alley, a piece of 8 foot by 4 foot, or I don't know how long wide a bowling alley is, um, and it's hard rock maple, and I was able to separate the majority of the maple pieces and re-glue them. This thing weighs like 300 pounds. I mean, it's like yep, ridiculous. We've moved it. Um, the base is construction lumber. This is the uh, Ipe deck lumber that you get when you, well, I don't even know if you can still get this stuff, but they call it, used to call it African mahogany. I think it's Ipe, but it's the, the most ridiculously dense stuff. The whole thing is made out of 4x4 four four that. It is, anyway, I would totally build it differently today if I was going to build it again, but it has served its purpose as a big hunk of immovable flat surface for nigh on, what, 15 plus years at this point. Not a scratch on it. And this is a jointer. I was really like, yeah. Are you recording you, already, huh? Yeah, it's a, All right. it's so a jointer. So over here, since we use these infrequently, but you know, enough that we need to have wheels on them. Uh, we store these over here, we have our jointer, and then our 13 inch planer, um, both jet. Um, both fantastic little heavy, very heavy piece of equipment. Um, this is where we store those. And up here, have our like little antique tools display. Um, some of this stuff is well over 100 years old. But we like old tools and collect them and put them up here. Mm -hmm. um, and moving down, we have our dartboard. Because we need to. You need a dartboard. Uh, um, <laughs> our beast of a miter saw. And there's a reason we bought the Bosch. The reason we bought the Bosch is because it doesn't have tubes. Yeah, he's got worms in his tubes. And so you notice it can sit right up flush to the wall without having to have tubes sticking out the back because it's got these, these uh, articulating arms as opposed to having the uh, the tubes that you see on other miter saws of this ilk. Yes. But this thing is sweet. Um, eventually we might do something over there so we can have more store the flat surface space around this thing on that side. Mm -hmm. um, but for right now we have, this is our feed table for that, more storage below, um, our cheap Harbor Freight Center, which does us nice and well. Um, more plugs than we know what to do with. Um, and our fire extinguisher. Important. Our trash can. Very important. Um, our dog's pooping calendar. Muy, um, muy important. Tripod. And this is our material storage over here. So this is our <laughs> trash. These are our scraps. Uh, firewood. Firewood for the landlord. That he never takes it. Um, we have Renee. We can move Renee out. Renee this is Descartes. Her, this is for moving around plywood in big pieces. Something else can fit that. So we have our wood storage on this wall. We have everything labeled ish. We have reclaimed stuff down here, walnut, thin stuff, two by stuff, miscellaneous stuff, cherry, maple, cedar, yada yada. Then we have some exotic woods over here, um, the Lambos, which are up top. We have our reclaim in thick wood. <laughs> it just makes me laugh every time. Um, have a couple of um, slabs over here. All the small stuff. This is our large sheet storage right here, uh, which brings us back around to 
Bob. And behind Bob here, we'll move it out in a second, is our deep storage. And for that, we're getting prepared. We doubled back. Get the rope. All right. Ready? Yeah. You gotta put it up to the mount point. Oh, so close. I think you should probably move Bob out of the way. Whoa! Is okay. the pencil holder okay? So, this is our deep storage way down there. Ryan's gonna clip in here. I'm going in. All right. No, we don't actually need to do that. <laughs> It's funny though, right? I don't know if the gag's gonna be worth it. Did you bring this to the shop just exclusively for this. for this gag? Yeah. Nice. nice. It's in the way. So this is how we get into deep storage, or this is how Ryan gets into deep storage. <laughs> Hold on. All right, there we go. Okay, here we are in deep storage. Got my flashlight on, so I've got uh, all kinds of brightness going on here. <laughs> um, a, a, a few um, whiteboards. We've got some tires. There's like some tubing down. I would never come down here. But there's definitely some tires and some skis. We haven't been down here since we built this. We've got this thing. Our shop. What do you suppose is in here? I don't know. What do you think? Oh, it's empty. Oh, look, gas can. Okay, we've got a traction board. And we got some, oh, we've got, that's where those little wheelie dollies are. Oh, I, don't know. I forgot we had those. Yeah, we got little wheelie guys under there and some, some tar paper and some Tyvek and Jeff's feet. <laughs> All right, shall we take a tour of the storage room? We shall. Hi, this is our storage room. As you can see, it says storeroom. And our regulation size basketball hoop. No points. <laughs> no points. Um, so this is our everything else room. This is also our epoxy room. Um, we have a table being epoxied up right now um, so we can close the door and kind of keep the dust out um, better than we can out there. Uh, and then we just have all of our stuff. So we got screws, nails, miscellaneous things, property of Han Solo, tubing, webbing, brushes, a toaster, um, computer shite. And More then, crap than one would know what to do with. Then we have our um, neglected 3D printer in the corner. Our manually powered 3D printer. He gets a little carried away sometimes. I think that's really funny. <laughs> Um, we have our small Rikon bandsaw, which we were using as a metal bandsaw, but um, apparently it's uh, got too many R's of the P's of the M's um, and is not good for cutting metal. So It's we, way too skookum? Way too skookum. What? We're going to insert an AV, A-V-E joke here. You'll, you'll, you'll catch on later. Okay. It, it's, the, it's a YouTube guy that we watch oh okay all right i don't, I don't know it's okay okay Anyways. you'll watch them later uh, all right so we have this um uh little band well little bandsaw this is the big bandsaw at my house uh, <laughs> uh but this is for um uh, the other one's very good for ripping and making stray cuts this one's good because we have a smaller blade on there for doing finer work more crap storage um our hdpe cart link the video below 
Uh, more tools. Uh, leather stuff is in here as well. As as this thing. The sewing machine. If it makes a kajow noise, you know it's working. <laughs> we're we're going to do a video just on this guy someday. We will. One of these days we will do a video just on that guy. It's going to be good. Yep. Leather working stuff. Walnut dust. Pine dust. Yep. Walnut curly cues. Works in progress. And the label maker. One other thing to point out is the little bit of private spaces. So Jeff and I each have our own offices, one on either corner to match the oh, other space. You need, you, no, you can't see it there. Yeah. So thank you for joining us for our workshop tour 2020 of the new Jackie workshop. 2020. Oh shit. <laughs> thank you for joining us on our workshop tour 2022. <laughs> The it's new just, Janky Workshop. Yeah, it's 2020, but like plus two. Thank you for joining us yes, thank on you. our workshop tour 2022. Um, let us know what you think. Like, comment, share. Subscribe. Um, subscribe. Please if subscribe. you haven't already, please yes. do so. Um, we do release content on the regular. Yes, every Saturday at 8 a.m. is the present schedule. Merch! And we have merch. Merch! As well. Rock the merch. Thanks for joining. Thanks for joining, and in the coming weeks, months, we'll have... His home shop tour. My home shop tour. And my home shop tour, because um, we've both been working away on those. Part de. Part de. Have fun. Bye. It's sweaty in here. Now. How sweaty is it? Reasonably. Okay. All right. It's time. Shop to tour. Twenty twenty two. Um, Thanks for showing us around. No, are we doing the?